this is a car that is a hatchback, but it's actually a secret hybrid. It's got this secret energy within it. You don't know it's there, but it's doing great things. It's saving you money. It's recycling itself while it drives. That's basically the principle of it. We use projection mapping to bring to life this whole secret energy. We thought it would be quite nice remotely to project onto it so that for the people watching it doesn't look like, it just looks like it's kind of happening by magic almost, that the car is transforming. We wanted people to kind of reappraise what a hybrid looks like. So we're hoping tonight when people come down they'll go into the tunnel with one, you know, expectation that oh, a hybrid, they look a bit sci-fi and then leave the tunnel going, oh that looks quite fun, that's quite cool and they'll just totally rethink our rest. Actually making a film that's going to sit online, it's going to live online, and the byproduct of that is that we wouldn't be able to come down because we're shooting in a public place. We thought we hadn't really seen something done like this before, certainly not on a car, and certainly not interacting with its, you know, with its environment and affecting physical things. Um, and, and also we wanted people to be really close to it. A lot of production mapping so far has been done on big buildings, and we're a long way away from it. Whereas this is really close and really intimate. Most projection mapping that you'll have seen uses a flat surface such as a building. You'll have your audience and you have the projector above and behind them projecting onto a flat object in front of them, usually a building. So essentially they're just using the building to replace the screen and kind of making it dance and move around. We're actually projecting onto a car and we're projecting a car itself in CG onto a real car from wide coverage of projections. So the idea is you can actually move around the vehicle and you can see you can see the effect from all the different angles and literally walk around it, just go up to it and touch it. It's got pretty much every different type of animation in it. You know, we've got uh, keyframed animation, we've got 2D, 3D, we've got uh, you know, algorithmically driven stuff in there, we've got some dynamics in there with the, the, the coins and, and so on. So, you know, it's a real mixture of techniques um, and combined with the fact that we're you know, mixing up the, the, the projection mapping with the actual kind of practical lighting, uh, the, the, the props and so on, you know, the kind of uh, the depth and relief trick that uh, you know, is one of the things that looks really, really great with projection mapping. The ability to, to take a surface and make it look like it's changing shape or moving, even though it's actually a, a static object in the real world. The technical challenges involved with the projection are so hardcore. We have seven projectors at the moment hitting it of all different strengths to average out the different types of uh, light quality on the different surfaces. We've got the car which has got like a beautiful white pearlescent finish. We've got concrete, asphalt, brickwork, you know, we've got all these different surfaces. And one of the big challenges for us was in evening the whole thing out so it looks like one cohesive piece of artwork. We've got nearly um, 100,000 lumens of power uh, in terms of the, the projectors that are set up. Um, so there's an awful lot of light uh, going down onto those surfaces. And in terms of the CG, we're actually rendering something like 14,000 by 14,000 pixels in terms of the total texture size that feeds into the projection surfaces uh, over two and a half thousand frames. So, you know, a fair, a fair length of time as well. So it's been a big rendering job. big collaboration between film crew, so myself and my director of photography and his crew, uh, through to the, the projection people at Igloo who are in charge of setting up all the projectors, uh, through to the art department that are rigging the car up with the practical lights um, and all the location people. Everyone has to work together you know, really, really closely in order to make sure it's, it's going to go smoothly on the night. Um, it's not your typical film set, that's for sure.